Welcome back to another very special video. I'm your host, Gaming J, and uh, today we're playing Google. Uh, look at this. Google has a new little, uh, I don't even know what you call this. It's, it's Gerald Jerry Lawson's 82nd birthday. Now, this guy is important in the history of gaming, as we will learn, but, uh, Funny how, like, Jerry's in quotes. Normally it's like, you know, Jonathan the Duke Hammerston or something like that. Gerald's nickname is Jerry. It seems just very obvious. Anyway, you click on this little thing on Google and look at this. We get to literally play a video game. Google, in their spare time, made a video game of Jerry Larson. And it's not just like... I mean, this is beautiful pixel art, I have to say. Jerry got started building arcade games for fun in his garage. Now this is going to be more than you think, okay? There's a, there's quite a bit of game here, so I'm looking forward to showing this to you guys today. He soon became the first uh, black engineer. Oh god, what did that say? I missed it. Okay, I gotta read faster. In 1976, he led the team to develop the revolutionary first video game cartridge. If you ever blew in an NES cartridge in the 90s, you have Jerry to blame, but you also have him to thank for the amazing game that was on the inside. That just needed to be woken up by a little, uh, little air. Jerry's work unlocked a whole new way for everyone to play, including you. Now, here's what you do. This is basically Mario Maker retro style. This is so interesting. Um, and again, it's not just going to be this one game. There's all sorts of games that they made. In their spare time, Google is making video games. This is crazy. It's funny how like Google just produced like this small little indie game that if you refine this a bit more, I could totally see something like this on GOG or Steam for sure, like a little indie game, but they just did it for fun, for no reason. Um, okay, so here are the games you can play. I've tried a few of these out. Let's try this one out. Um, this is like Horror Zone or something. Um, so you play as a ghost. First of all, can I say, okay, pop quiz. What video graphics mode is this game emulating? You don't need to know anything about pixel rates or resolution, so they'll give you a hint, 320 by 200. Um, but, the real hint is, look at the colors. Cyan, purple, and white. Ugh, what horrible colors. What game would possibly use these disgusting colors? The answer is anything made with good old CGA. Color graphics adapter. CGA is an interesting color scheme, um, getting chased by these skulls. Notice, by the way, this is not a platformer like we just played. This is more obviously of like a, a top-down game, which is very cool. CGA as a kid always confused me because it was like, oh, a color graphics adapter. They're going to have colors. And then they give you like three terrible colors put together. It's like a joke. Um, CGA was capable of showing many colors in something called composite mode, which I didn't learn about till years later through, uh, through what's his face? The, uh, oh, the gamer guy from Texas. 8-Bit guy. 8-Bit guy. I like that guy. He's, he's, he's a nerd's nerd. Um, but yeah, I didn't know that the CGA is not meant to show, like, cyan, purple, and white. I mean, it's, it's not meant to. It shows it. Obviously, it was meant to, but there's a composite mode where these colors come out in beautiful, like, 16 or 256 colors. So as a kid, CGA games all look like this. If you grew up in that era and you know it, then uh, this is probably bringing back memories. Oh, this is like anti-Pac-Man, by the way. Look, I'm like in Pac-Man mode. Yes. Now we can get all the money. What does a ghost need money for? to hire somebody to stop the Ghostbusters from busting him. That's probably why. Anyway, we'll get all the money. This ghost is going to be rich, yo. Um, by the way, you can pause. Oops, that's actually pause, pause. You can, like, edit the world as you go, but if you edit it, I think it resets you to the beginning of the level, so we're not going to do that. We're going to play this all the way through. Um, uh, but what was I talking about? Colors in games? Yeah, long story short, oops. The game that you wanted, or the mode you wanted, was a minimum of EGA. EGA stood for Electronic uh, Graphics Adapter. There was CGA and EGA. EGA had 16 colors, uh, but then the real one was VGA, Video Graphics Adapter. That one had 256 colors, and that's what you really wanted to play to play games. Um, kind of tricky, actually. I like it, though. I like how the save points are little disc icons. 
Here's another fun fact. If you're old like me, you probably know what that is. It's a 3.5 inch floppy disk. If you're young, you probably think it's the save icon because you've never seen a physical disk. Or I've seen things on like TikTok or whatever where parents show their kids a 3.5 inch floppy and someone's like, oh, they 3D printed the save icon. It's like, no, that is, that is what the save icon is based on. <laughs> Uh, it's sad. It's sad to realize, you know, I don't begrudge the children. How the, how the hell would they know what a floppy disk is if you've never seen one? But it is it is a sad realization when you're old AF. Because you know what you know what the save icon actually is. Oh god, there's evil skulls. How do you get out of this? Oh no. I'm screwed, man. Oh, when the when the heads get you, they reset. Gotta, gotta move. Oh, we're like traps, trapped. Okay, hold on. See if we can lure some of these heads away. Oh no, it's like it's like a. Okay, this level is designed poorly. Google, try again. Turkey. It says at the top every time you die. I like that. Okay, let's just get rid of these ghosts. Okay, I have an idea. There was something way back over here. Isn't there like a block? I guess I can't take that with me. Nothing I can get that will help me. I mean, I can edit the level, but I think it resets the level. Let's see here real quick. Pushing. It seems like you want to push this block into here, but that wouldn't help you. It just unleash all these ghost heads. All the ghosts. The ghosts will come get you. Um, alright, well, oh my god. I wish... These ghost heads are actually quite difficult. Oh my god. Okay, we might be as far as we can get in Ghost World here. Okay, time, time to edit the world. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, that guy doesn't exist. Neither does he. I forgot. We'll leave some ghosts. I want a bit of a ghost challenge. Oh, this guy didn't- this guy was never born. We're just erasing them from history. We'll leave one ghost. Alright, and off we go. Oh, we get back to the beginning. Okay, whatever. We can get to that part again. Um... But yeah, being old. Ghosts. Mortality. What else were we talking about? Video game colors. That's video game colors. So I'm curious to know how many people out there actually remember CGA. Or even knew what was happening. Like, why did your games have these weird colors when you were kids? Did you know? Did you understand? I, I didn't. I just thought CGA cards sucked, and nobody ever thought about what colors they should be showing, but... Turns out we should have been playing our games in composite mode this whole time, and no, nobody knew. The epic guy wasn't around to tell us. He was too busy playing on his Commodore 64. See, we need one of these, like, ghost-eating pellets. I'm gonna skip it this time. Um, over in this area where we got trapped. You know, I, I, I gave Google all this credit for making a, you know, making their own indie game, Mario Maker style indie game. And then they go and they make a terrible first level. Fail, Google, fail! Be ashamed of yourself. Just kidding, I'm still pretty impressed with what they've done here. All in honor of Jerry, um... Oh god, I've forgotten his name already, that's embarrassing. We'll look him up after. I kind of want to look up more about this guy. Yeah, African American video game developer was was instrumental in developing video game cartridges. So that's pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. We did it. We were at the very end, anyway. All right. So you can edit the level if you want, or um, <coughs> excuse me play more games. I'm just getting over a cold. My voice probably sounds very rough to you guys. Somebody, my voice was even rougher the other day and I was talking to someone on the phone and they were like, you sound like Michael Clark Duncan. Like uh, that, uh, you know, the big black guy from the Green Mile. He was also uh, a kingpin in the Ben Affleck Daredevil movies. But this one, this is the demo one that we've played. This oh no, it's Pong. Oh no, it's Breakout. Oh my god. Okay, here's what's really cool about this. So, okay, well, first of all, hold on. We gotta try and get the ball behind... behind the bricks. This is what you did in Breakout. Yes, get back there! Oh! Just missed it barely. 
If you can get the ball bouncing behind the bricks, it's like Xanadu. It just feels so good in your brain. Then we can get the ball back up there. Get up there, ball! No, go behind the bricks! Behind! Yes! Oh, come on! Not too much. Hard to get the angle right. I love the music and the graphics and everything. Ah, oh, come on! Oh, it's going this time. No! Okay, so here's the thing. Oh, actually, if you break all the blocks, you win. Oh, crap. Try again, turkey. Yeah, I want to see what the what happens when you break all the blocks, and then we will try this again. Um, because I want to edit level two. So what's impressive is not only did Google make a cool indie game, but it's not just like a Mario Maker clone. It's like a breakout game. It's like, uh, you know, a, 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 a Pac-Man ghost hunting adventure game. Um, or I guess it's you are a ghost and you're being tormented by purple skulls. I'm excited to see what other kinds of games they have in here. They created their own like little virtual mini retro console game. Not like a console game. But a game that simulates an old retro console that never existed, that had sort of these cool old games. It is... It is so cool. You know, you can just tell that the people who work at Google are nerds in the best possible way. Oh god, I can't get these last two blocks. Oh my god, get over there. Come on, bluey ball. Oh, now you go behind! Okay, it just ends. But here, I'm gonna make it easier to go behind. The platform, so you can do a platform player, or a top-down player. Oh, this is so cool. You could add a platform player here who runs around, okay, hold on. What? You can also add ghosts and stuff to this? Oh, could we add multiple balls? Oh, that's cool. And a breakable object. I Can I just say, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed by the fact that they merged together Pong, Breakout, uh, Mario, and Pac-Man all together. These different enemies, keys, switches, racer, change style, spooky ice cream. Oh my god, this is so cool. It's so simple. Yeah, it's so cool. Oh my god, balls everywhere. Okay, well there it goes. Oh my god, the balls are going everywhere. Try again, turkey. This is so fun. I want to get a ball behind. Come on, get up there. Yes! Oh, come on. Okay, here we go. Just focus one ball at a time. Oh my god, the balls are actually interfering with each other. Get up there. Oh my god. I just muted myself to have a terrible cough, so you guys didn't have to hear it. Okay. My plan of having multiple balls actually backfired. Turns out all you need is one really good ball in life. Oh god. We gotta try and control our ball. The game is all about precise ball control. How good are you at controlling your balls? You will find out. Oh, this could do it. Oh, no, whatever. Yes, get up in there. Yes! Yeah, we did it. We are the champions. Stay up there. No! Okay, that's okay. Yes. Uh, this is how you wanted to play Breakout, baby. Yeah. Oh! Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can send her back up in there. Yes! We did it. We are champions. I love it. Still satisfying to do that, even today. Okay, let's, uh, let's, uh, get out of here. Okay, so we got Pong, we got Ghost World. What's this one? Find out. This one is, oh, little flower, flower, flower girl meets butterfly zone. Interesting. Can you double jump? You cannot. Oh, you can bounce off mushrooms? All right. Oh, look. Oh my God, they found a, an in, a very curious way. You have paddles. Why doesn't this exist? Honestly, Google, this is a great idea for a little indie game. Somebody should make this for real. This is so fascinating. You have paddles mixed with a platformer. I never I, I never thought of this. This is a great idea. We talked about this before on the channel, but 
This is like the kind of idea that didn't need to wait until 2022 to exist. Somebody could have made Mario Maker in like the 80s, first of all. Somebody also could have made a game that mixes Pong with a platformer in the 80s or 90s. Didn't have to wait till now. So it's, it, it's interesting to discover these like concepts where you're like, this could have existed. The, the technology existed 20 years ago to program this game like this. Just no one ever did. But it totally could have. It totally could have been. Totally could have been. We like this is. You don't even need a, a full separate game for this. This could have just been a mechanic in a Mario level. Like that would have been kind of cool if Mario meets Pong. Or it's not even really Pong. You don't even have to play it up as if it's. Uh... Oops. You don't even have to play it up as if it's Pong. You could just have like platformers platforms that move as Mario moves. Like, see if I move left or right, this platform moves. Kind of cool. Um, okay, we need two keys. One. There's another one. Two. Now what? This is interesting. Oh, God, I got shot. Okay. Oh, what's a B? Okay, we avoided the B. God. I wonder if any of these games mix platformer with top down. I don't know how it would do it. But it seems like you potentially could. Oh, this is interesting. How do I do this? I gotta bring this platform all the way over? For why? For why? Tell me for why. I wonder if there's fire flowers and stuff. Okay, little note, Google. When you press space bar, you jump, but if I continue to hold space in my character land, she just jumps forever. You should only jump when the key is pressed down. It, try, it, try it at home. Pick up a Nintendo controller, press hold A for Maru, he'll jump, and when he lands, when he hits the ground, he didn't jump again. You don't just jump endlessly. That, that is how I can tell that as cool as this game is, it was not developed by an actual game company. It was developed by engineers for Google. Seems like you should just hold the the, jump, the space button to jump endlessly, but it actually kind of screws you up because you're trying to jump high and you're holding the button to jump as high as you can. And then when you let go or, or when you hit the ground, your guy automatically jumps again. It's confusing. The other thing is, yeah, so if you just tap, or you press space, you jump equally high. It should be a small tap does a little jump and a long hold does a higher jump. Well, there's another problem, Google. You fucked it up, but that's okay. Because A for effort. Two little tweaks I would do Im immediately after playing this. I'm like, here are two little tweaks. Um, okay, I cannot figure out where to go, so let's cheat. This is what you do in Mario Maker when you're just like, eh, all right, where do I go? Like, where, where was I missing? It must have been somewhere that I didn't get to. Wait, how do you get in here, this little old cavern? Something that I would, I'm following this whole cavern along to see. Where the hell does this lead? Down here. So many keys. It's like a key nightmare. Okay, somehow... Somehow you had to have this turn so that that would open. And I actually don't know how to do that. That's okay. I think the rest of the level is just more of the same. Oh my god, a billion butterflies. Alright, well, this we've seen enough of this one. Interesting. Okay, that's interesting. Uh... I like when you go to game controls, it shows you, uh, Jerry jumping. I had to mute myself there again for another cough. I apologize. Apologize. How do I get out of this? Oh, oh this is cool. I like it. It's the Jerry Lawson console. There's a share button. Duplicate. Oh, you can make new cartridges. You can, like, make whole worlds if you want. That's pretty cool. Let's try this one. Oh. This is like another platformer. Interesting. 
I gotta say, this one doesn't interest me all that much. It looks, this one, sadly enough, the resolution is too high. Things are drawn with too much clarity. Oh, there's breakable blocks, though. This is like, bouncy cat goes to dreamland. Okay, try again, turkey. <laughs> I wonder if Jerry Lawson, if like that's his thing, calls everyone turkeys. Down. Oh. Oh, come on. Sound like a door or something. For these. Okay. They're going down this way. Okay, well, I will say that this world did not interest me as much as the others. And I'm already stumped, so that might be a good thing in the end. Oh, wait, what is this box? Ah, eat it, Pengu. Crush you in the wall, buddy. Oh, wait, was it supposed to go down here? Uh, it's, it's hard to tell what any... You know what? I got an idea. Do, 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 do. Oh, look, this game's better now. Yeah, Ghostland! Alright. Made this game a thousand times better. I can also tell what things do now. Sort of. Symbols are a little clearer to me now. Oh, that's teleporting now. Oh, what? That's nigh impossible. Oh, maybe you need the invincibility to go through that teleporter. Okay, I think, I think that makes sense. Here's a save point. We go in here. Okay, so we get the invincibility. Aha! Interesting. I kind of want to switch modes again now, but... I guess we're stuck in ghost mode. Um... Blink. Report. This is, this is much more fun to play in ghost mode. Oh, God. Okay, now what? Where are we? Interesting, too, how you can take, like... This, you know what? This this makes me feel like, uh... I mean, I like Mario Maker. I thought it was fun. But this makes me realize you could have an indie... You could have an indie game maker that is way more than just Mario Maker. You know, like... It could be Pong. It could be... It, you could probably even expand it out. You could make, like... Why not have like command and con like like real time strategy elements to it? Like mix it all up. And what's actually kind of cool is how we've already seen how you can mix Pong and a platformer together. Imagine like Act Razor style. You mix like Sim City elements with like some sort of action platformer or something. Like you could do nutso stuff. Oh crap! Want that uh, instability ocean? God. We go. We're getting it. Invincible. It's gonna wear off right when I need it, isn't it? Ah, we did it! It's funny how, like, when the game was in cat form, I was like, meh. But then as soon as I changed it to a ghost game, I'm like, oh, it's great. What's this one? It's like Mario. Or actually, you know what it's more like is uh, the great Gianna sisters. Just look at this animation. That's cool. The Great Gianna Sisters is uh, an interesting game in the history of gaming. It was basically a, a Mario ripoff. They got sued by Nintendo to take it off the market. Um, and it is a Mario ripoff, but it is also a bit of its own thing. It's it's a little different than just a pure... Whoa, whoa. Well, that's cool. So you, you land on the Switch and it turns the platformers platform solid when you jump. They go invisible. I didn't even, I, It just jumped without hesitation. You didn't even think about it. I was like, whatever, man, I'm going for it. But you know you're a gamer when you just leap into the abyss. Oh, God. Oh, interesting. Huh. Well, what happens if I go this way? I wonder. What? Look at that save point. <laughs> Get the save point and die. Oh, this is fun. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
terribly placed save point. From a practicality standpoint. Oh my god! Oh god. Jerry, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, sorry, bro. We're gonna have to look up Jerry. I hope I don't forget. Shit. Okay, we gotta go a little calmer. And those springs are hard because they just continually launch you, so it's like... You're going. Oh, jeez. Wanna know what's at the top over there? I mean, I... The thing with Mario Maker style games, you can always go into edit mode and just see, but... Here we go. Oh god. We survived somehow. Oh, it's the, the end? Oh, is it? Wait, what was... The, hold on. What was the key thing that we missed? Uh, you know what? Try this in a different mode if we're gonna play it again. Default mode. Si oh, we were playing. That's a 16-bit Jerry mode. Butterflies, ice cream. What's default mode? Oh, here we go. Old school. The way games are meant to be played. Where the pixels barely represent whatever the hell you're supposed to be looking at. In fact, they often don't represent anything. This is your main opponent. Glob of blue. And the second most dangerous enemy. Amorphous... Six red pixels. Oh god. Doesn't have to represent anything in particular. It's just kind of there. I like the music though. So wait, can we open this? No, we don't have a key yet. Did I get a key? Is this like a hidden exit to a bonus game? Find out. Okay. He's gonna just. Oh god. Come for me. Slowly. Look like eyeballs searching for me. You'll never get Jerry! Oh, oh there's just two endings. Interesting. Well, that's uh, Jerry Lawson. I think there is... Uh, there's a tutorial, oh, which we've already done. I think there is about Jerry. Jerry Lawson's 82nd birthday. Uh, one of the fathers of modern gaming who led the team to develop the first video game system with interchangeable cartridges. Let's, uh, let's see his Wikipedia page while we're here, folks. Jerry Lawson, there he is, 1982. An American electronic engineer known for his work designing the Fairchild Channel F video game console, a leading team that pioneered the video game cartridge. He's dubbed the father of video game cartridge. That's cool. I think he's still alive. Pretty cool. There's a the Fairchild F. If you don't know what that is. Um. Oh no. Oh, he died. Losing the use of one leg and sight from an eye. Oh wait. Oh, he did, he did die. Oh. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, sir. Much of my childhood is. Is owed to you, Mr. Lawson. Yeah, he died in 2011. I could have just read that. Anyway, today was a fun little... Uh, it w hopefully it was nostalgic and retro, despite the fact that we were playing a modern thing on Google. It's Google's indie game. Who would have known? Who would have known? Um, if you do want to try it out yourself, just go to Google today. Click on the play button. Um, and you can play. Off you go. Make your own games. To make all sorts of stuff. Okay, I'm gonna try one thing really quickly, just out of curiosity. What happens if you put a platformer character and a top-down character in the same world? Oh my god, you can control both! Wow, this is kind of cool. Okay, here's an idea for a game, if anyone wants to try and make it. Have a game where it's like a platformer below but it's like a uh, top-down game above. Let's see, you put your guy like there. And then like, you know, the top-down and the bottom both have to be completed. You guys know what I'm saying here, where it's sort of like, you know, there's obstacles above and below, but they're different. So it's like you kind of have to bring your guy along. There he is. 
Kind of an interesting idea. You have two guys that you're controlling, but they follow different physics simultaneously. It's like a Nintendo DS game, it's dual screen. Try again, you turkey. Turkey scumbag. I don't know how the game knows to scroll, or if it even does. But, uh, there you go. Anyway, there's a fun idea for you. Have at it, you rascals. Guys, thanks for watching today's video. I hope, uh, we can all tip our hat to Mr. Lawson here for creating our childhoods and for Google to taking a little bit of time out of their day dominating the search engine field and creating self-driving cars and whatever the hell else they do at Google to create an indie game that puts us all to shame, frankly. <laughs> all the independent indie developers. Google did in a day what you probably ascribe your lifetime to do. Come up with an original idea and, like, throw it out there. I guess for free, but... Anyway, I don't know. Uh, yeah, guys, it was fun. I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, my friends, peace!